We are here with Congresswoman Sandy Adams right from Oviedo. And want, first of all, I want to congratulate you. We uh, recently discovered that you have not missed a vote yet since you've been elected to Congress. That is true. We have made, I have made every vote on the floor of the chamber. And I hope to continue that pattern. Well, I know one of the, um, some of the votes that you've been able to take are on some of these jobs bills that the House Republicans have passed, but somehow they don't seem to be getting very far. Can you talk a little about that? Yeah, it's really, really sad because we have passed over 20 bills, I think about 22 now, that we have sent to the Senate. They are job-creating bills, the regulation bills that we have sent over there to pull back the regulations that are basically strangling our businesses, the small business owners who have come to us and said, we need some help here. We need some regulatory relief. The agencies are, you know, strangling us. We're not able to go forward and grow, build our companies, employ more people, and help with the economic engine that they normally do. We have jobs bills sitting over in the Senate that have passed the House bipartisan, I might add, and they have yet to even be discussed, and that is simply just irresponsible and it's a shame. Has um, the Democratic leadership in the Senate even given any communication or indication or feedback on these bills at all? If they have, I haven't seen or heard it. And it's a shame. A lot of us, especially some of the freshmen, have gone over and asked Kerry Reid to pull up some of these bills, have a discussion, have a debate. If you want to amend it, amend it. Send it back. At least have a discussion. The American people deserve that. And they're not having that discussion. Well, we have uh, two senators from Florida over there in the Senate. We've got Marco Rubio, we've got Bill Nelson. Um, have you uh, had a chance to talk with either one of them about this issue? Well, you know, it's interesting. I um, watched uh, during one of the many debates that we had over some of the uh, issues on the budget where Marco Rubio actually took to the floor of the Senate and he made a statement, and I, I can't quote him verbatim, but he basically said, the House is working and the Senate is not. And he, was, he seemed to be just as frustrated as the rest of us over here. Okay, so you haven't seen any leadership at all from Bill Nelson on this? I have not heard him say anything about these bills, and that's a shame because they affect not only America, but Florida. And Floridians deserve the discussion of these bills. Okay, great. Well, hopefully something will happen in the next couple of weeks because we do really need some jobs bills to pass. So thank you so much. Thank you.